it's Ruby and today I'm going to be doing a room tour which was very highly requested. I have got so many requests over the last two years and I actually didn't realise it had been so long since I filmed my last one so I thought it was a good time to do an updated version. So first of all on the front of my door I've got this poster of Sherlock and John Watson. I absolutely love the show Sherlock. So then if you come in I'll start off by giving you a quick overview of my bedroom. So when you first walk into my room, I'm just going to start with what's on the back of my door. There are actually quite a few things on here, so I've got my bed jacket, then I've got my um, prefect gown for school, I've got a satchel, my dressing gown, a nightgown, and my Harry Potter Hogwarts robe. So then if you look on this wall here, I've got some of my favourite photographs with friends and family. So this one, you might be able to recognise Ruby in this photo because Ruby is featured in some of my videos. And I also really love this photo. This was um, on my parents' anniversary, um, but I really love this wall. I think it looks really great, and I love putting up photos to remember fantastic times that you've had with people. So I'm rambling loads. And down here, first of all, you can see that I've got three rolls of wrapping paper. So I've got two rolls of brown paper, and then this one, which is really nice. I haven't actually taken it out of its packaging, but it's got um, moons and stars on it, and I got it from Paper Chase. So then here I've got this stool which was actually my mum's and she very kindly gave it to me. And on top I've put a little wash basin and jug. So um, I've got this jug which is really pretty, it's got birds on it. And then this bowl with fish. And I really like washing my face with this in the morning because it's really old fashioned. And then lastly underneath here I just keep my favourite body butter which is the Body Shop pumpkin and vanilla one. I want to show you my light switch actually. So my dad, um, for each of my light switches, because I've got one here and then I've got another one down here as well. And what my dad did is he took a photocopy from my favourite pages of my favourite books and then he put them under the light switch covers so it looks really lovely and it's really personalised as well. So this one is from the Order of the Phoenix, the Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, and the other one is from A Little Princess. And also, I've got this little Polaroid photo on the side here, which is me dressed up as Hermione for Halloween. So then next we have my bedside table. So I'm just going to start by showing you what's on the top here. So I've got these two old-fashioned books. These are both Dickens books, so I've got A Tale of Two Cities and A Christmas Carol and then David Copperfield. And then on top of this, I've got 365 Days of Wonder, which is a collective for, for every day. It gives you a quote about being kind, and I really like looking at this every morning. Then I've got my clock, and I've also got this Sleepy Body Lotion from Lush. So then next, I've got this little um, plastic box from Muji, and I find it's really convenient to keep all of my little things from my night table here. So I've got my White Company White Lavender Pillow Mist, which is my favourite toiletry product ever and it smells just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna fall asleep after spraying this though because it's just so relaxing. So then I know it, it's not Christmas anymore, I know Christmas was two months ago but I really love snow globes so I've kept this snowflake snow globe and I've also got this little um, tea light in the shape of a deer and front here I've got my Gryffindor mug and also this coaster with an R on it. So this is what's in the top drawer. So I've just got some notebooks um, and my iPad in these piles here. And then in this box here, I've got miscellaneous items. So headphones and fairy lights and post-it notes. And again, I've got quite miscellaneous things here. So strapsels and I've got a spare phone case and also some spare toiletries. And then in this box at the back, I keep some bookmark bookmarks. And then I've got my Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty here, and I love Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. If you see this organiser here, um, in this front bit here I've got some edible goods, so I've got some mints and rescue remedies. This middle one is toys, so it's kind of, I've just got a Harry Potter fidget spinner, a Harry Potter fidget cube, and some more um, Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. And then at the back I've got tea lights. At the bottom here I've got my diary and pen and also Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows because I'm rereading it at the moment and I've also got my amazing 
Bowden bunny slippers, which are my favourite slippers. So then here I got my wardrobe, but I very recently filmed a wardrobe tour, so I'm not going to go through this now. But if you look behind here, um, a paper organiser where I just store loads of paper. And then in this box here, I've basically got things that I want to send to my pen pals. And I've also got this dog toy here because I think it's really cute. And down here, I've got this box where I keep my camera equipment in. And then on top, I've got some figurines. So Hermione, Belle and Coraline and also my Alexa Dot. Echo Dot even, but you call her Alexa, of course. Um, let me quickly show you these posters as well. So I've got my It's Leviosa, not Leviosa, and also a Hermione Granger picture. And you'll probably recognise these because this is where I film all of my videos. So then next I've got my Scratch Away map. And if you watch my last room tour, you'll know that I used to have a television here, but we took that down and instead I put up a map. So then next here I've got my desk, which is probably my favourite part of my room and certainly the place where I spend the most time. So um, I have done a desk tour quite recently, so I'm not going to go into too much detail, but if you want to have an updated desk tour, then please let me know in the comments. So then here I've got my windowsill, and as you can see, I've still got some snowflake stickers pinned up on my window, and I've also got this little tea light holder. So then I've got two candlesticks, but it's really sunny today, and so I'm, I've kind of got to take them out because they keep on bending. Um, but then I've got an Arizona iced tea bottle again because I really like the bottles and I've got this picture of my friend Ruby and I in a polar bear frame and I really like this. And then back here I've got some matches as well. This is my where I keep matches. And then on the other side I've got this little um, hedgehog which is made out of a book and some year nine girls at my school actually made and sold these um, at our Christmas fair so I decided to buy one. And again, another candlestick without the candlestick in. On my radiator here, as you can see, I've got my radiator. And on top, I keep my water bottle. And this one's from Paper Chase. It's from the old Nordic Nights range. And then also, right next to my radiator here, I keep my magazines here in a kind of magazine rack style. So I read the New Yorker and also the National Geographic. And I have a subscription to both. So I just keep them all here. It's quite convenient, actually. So then next here we've got my bookshelf. I love my bookshelf, it's one of my favourite parts of my room and I especially like my Harry Potter shelf here. I am actually in a rush so I need to go somewhere so I can't actually finish filming this now so the rest of the video is going to be filmed with me wearing something different. I'm sorry that there will not be that level of continuity. <laughs> so then next down here I've got my school books. So most of them are actually kept downstairs. Down here I've got this little Harry Potter writing set which I got when we were in Florida and it's really beautiful if I could just, it's magnetic and then it's got some Hogwarts writing paper. It's very dusty as well. <laughs> And then I've got this really large American Girl box and I got this ages ago, I, I think it was kind of 2013 or 14, um, but it's actually a nice box for storage so I decided to use it to store all of my stationery in. So first of all on top I've got this quill stand and globe which my friend Ruby got for me. And then I've got this diffuser from Muji and I've got this candle snuffer. And I love candle snuffers because they're just so old fashioned. So I'm going to show you what I've got inside of this box. I've got quite a lot of stationery in here. So um, it's all stored in these Ziploc bags. Um, so in the first one I've got miscellaneous station, And then in this one I've got post-it notes. It's not that I don't ever use them because I do get through post-it notes quite a lot but I have so many. In here I've got washi tape and ribbon and again I've got lots of washi tape and ribbon. I recently bought this pack from Amazon um, and it was a pack of about 15 and they've got really nice prints on and I will actually leave it linked down below because I was impressed by it. It was kind of £12 for 15 which is really really good in terms of washi tape. So then in this bag I've got stamps, in this bag I've got letter writing supplies, 
Then I've got this bag of pegs, craft paper, like a roll of um, laminating paper, ink cartridges in here. These are kind of mini craft supplies, so if you're making Christmas cards or birthday cards. Lastly, I've got this little pencil case which my friend Ellie actually brought me back from holiday. And inside I keep an array of these pens which are some of my favourite pens. And then next I'm going to quickly show you some of the things that I keep under my bed. So on top here I've got two notebooks. Uh, and then in this drawer here, I've got all of my pens. And again, I've got a lot of pens. I really love stationery, as you can see, but it's just miscellaneous pens and then colouring pencils, Sharpie pens, and then coloured pens here, like um, melted pens. And then in this drawer, I don't even really know what the theme is here, but I've just got some planners and organisers, and also some pencil cases. Here, on top of this, um, drawer. I've got this periodic table folder that my sister got me. So inside this folder, um, first of all at the front I've just got lots of extra philosophy research which I, which I do. So I've got um, a notebook for all of that and then I've got some notes that I've printed out at the back. And predominantly though this is my folder for newspaper articles and magazine articles which I read and think are really interesting. There's not really much in there that's worthy of comment but I've just got some cards and a manuscript of my book in there, that's pretty much it though. And then lastly in this one I've got my whiteboard, some cleaning wipes and also some tea lights back there. And then lastly we've got my bed. So first of all here as you can see I've got a little Hedwig toy which I put up and my mum brought me this back from platform nine and three quarters at King's Cross Station. And then above my bed I've got these two paintings. So this um, one here of the Raven, which really reminds me of the poem by Edgar Allan Poe, was painted by our really close family friend. And then this one was painted by her friend. They're really great paintings and I really love the way they look. And then lastly I've got my bed here. So I've got these two large pillows at the back. And this pillow here, I really am pretty much obsessed with. I got it yesterday from the White Company. It was on sale for £5, and I love how old-fashioned it is. And then here I've also got my bedspread, um, which is, again, from the White Company, and I got it for Christmas a couple of years ago. And it's really soft, and I really love the way it looks. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video, and have a productive week.